it's skincare time. I hope everyone is good. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy. If you are old, welcome my loves. Hope you guys are good. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you even doing? Hit the subscribe button right now. And you guys know I don't like long intros, so let's just get into it. This is probably my most request video of all time. I always, always, always get this comment please do a skincare video. So today, finally, I will be showing you guys what I'm using on my skin right now, uh, giving you some skin tips I have learned along the way, and also why I, I haven't done this video yet, because it was sort of similar to in the assumptions video, when I discussed why I don't talk about my weight loss journey so much. So um, let's get into all of that today. I mean, I like this setup. It's kind of cute. I feel like I'm in one of those Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. Love it. So first of all, let's discuss why I haven't done a skincare video yet and why I was a little hesitant. So the reason why I haven't done this video yet is because with things like weight loss, um, giving advice, whether it's uh, medical advice or beauty advice or wellness advice, I think uh, as an influencer, if you want to use that word, or someone who shares things on the internet, I think that's the better way to describe it, there's a responsibility to make sure that you are giving people um, sound advice, you're not just hawking a product, you're not just selling them something, and not only that, you have to relate to people that everyone is different, right? A product I might be using today might break you out. And a product that cleared up someone's skin might do nothing for my skin. This sort of like skincare journey is completely catered to you. It's like back in the day I used to watch these amazing makeup tutorials and buy the products. And guess what? The person had dry skin. I have oily skin. That foundation is going to look terrible on me. So I've come to this point where now, I buy things and I test things and I use things that actually make me look better like they actually work for my skin and it's not just like a trend thing you know people might swear by this moisturizer and that you see let's say all over TikTok and you, you use it and it doesn't really do anything you know you don't have to use something because someone else is using it or someone else has nice skin or pretty makeup and assume it's going to work for you so that's really the reason. So I'm going to show you my current morning skincare routine, but bear in mind that I use these products because I've used, let's say I tried the moisturizer for three months and I liked it. But if you have dry skin, this is not going to work for you. And the CeraVe cleanser I used might be too gentle. Maybe you have extreme acne, you know? So I use the skincare products that work for my skin in its current state. Almost all my acne has cleared, I mean all my acne has cleared up, let me be honest. And my pigmentation has cleared up as well. So I really only have all my, you know these face freckles? Yeah, I have a lot of face freckles. So even my pigment pigmentation is gone. So really now for my skincare I'm just in like a maintenance phase where I just use things to maybe give me a glow to even my skin tone and for example the most important step in my skincare right now might be SPF because I'm not trying to clear up anything so it's actually to protect my skin. I will show you what I'm using but these products work for me. They might not work for your skin and never try four different products at once like only integrate a new skincare product every few months otherwise your skin will go crazy so please don't go ahead and buy a lot of these and try them out and expect to have skin like mine and when we get to the tips part I'll talk about genetics and the fact that um, everyone is in a different skincare journey I used to have awful 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 acne um, it was really really bad and I finally cleared it up. I'm so happy. The way skin is linked to things like hormones and especially if you're a woman, um, things like PCOS. So that's why sometimes it's the product, sometimes it's your body function, sometimes it's your lifestyle. So that's why I never 100% rate products for healthy skin. I do think they help, but it's it's a bit reductive to say that, okay, if I use Tammy's cleanser, I'm going to have the same skin as her. 
you, you might have better skin than me but it's just you have to try it for yourself it's all trial and error and i think something like skincare is deeply personal so you have to go on that journey yourself research the products that are good for dry skin pigmentation rosacea sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin i will tell you to avoid some of the things i'm using so bear all this in mind <laughs> my rant is over my rant is finished if you just came for the products okay here you go so let's start off with a cleanser so this is my skin just coming out of the shower i haven't put anything on it so it is it's dry right now i haven't even cleansed it haven't washed it for you guys today so this is the current cleanser face cleanser i'm using it is the CeraVe hydrating cleanser and i love 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 it this has worked wonders just to keep like the texture and softness of my face there and it's so gentle i don't like things that have fragrance i don't like things that have like thousands of ingredients and this is a drugstore cleanser like it's it's, it's an affordable brand CeraVe i love CeraVe so first off we're going to wash our face <laughs> guys i don't know how i'm going to film this because my tripod and my camera are in, in in inside my sink i didn't really think about this but anything for you beautiful people and i like to just wear something so my edges are protected from any water spill you guys know the vibes so let us cleanse and wash this face so i'm gonna get not cold not hot lukewarm like table water temperature please don't be burning your skin or putting like ice cold water it's not necessary anything that causes shock to your skin i i don't think is good i don't think it's beneficial in any way um so just lukewarm water so my face is wet i'm now gonna take two like one big pump like that amount and then lather it in my hands and guys cleanse for at least one minute i don't want to see you doing this for 10 seconds it is like your teeth very lightly with your fingertips so there should be pressure but you're not trying to pull on your skin imagine your skin is a baby's bottom like you want to be very gentle with your skin in every step again we're not trying to shock or pull our skin so just lather it up like so we are going for one minute don't forget the neck and you see that this cleanser doesn't foam it's almost like you're cleansing with like a moisturizer but i love how it just makes my face feel very soft and just always be careful with your eye area i usually use my ring fingers just underneath slightly and my lids but just a little bit because your eyelids if they don't have makeup shouldn't need as much okay so now that was about a minute and it's time to rinse this off again lukewarm water and then do not like rub just gently tap just tap 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 the way you touch your face it should feel like you're in a facial like you know how if you've ever had a facial the way they're just so gentle with your skin i always treat it like i'm giving myself a mini facial every day okay so i've patted so i'm dry but i haven't um patted to the point where there's not any water residue on my face because my next step is to take this Aven Thermal, mon français is coming out, um, Thermal water spray. This is just spring water. I know some people will think this is just stupid. I'm spraying water on my face again, but I actually like to lock in my moisturizer with a little bit of water residue on my face. And I don't use a spray toner because my toner is a pump toner. So I just like to make sure my face has something to hydrate it before I do the rest of my steps. So just do this. Done, that's it. So it's brought kind of the hydration back to my face. Step two is done. And next it is toner time. So I use the Medicate, like Medic 8, a Press and Glow Daily Exfoliating PHA Tonic with Enzyme Activator. I know there's a lot of discussion about BHAs, AHAs, PHAs. PHAs are the most gentle out of those three, but still you need to make sure that you need these types of like activators for your skin. Please don't go ahead and buy a BHA without any sort of need to or even medical advice. So specifically my dermatologist um, put me on this PHA tonic and look it's empty. This might be my last time using it before I replace it but um, I just take a cotton pad. I don't use my hands for this. Like three pumps on the top. Do I have enough? Okay. 
And then again, you just pat. No need to rub. I just like to pat everything in. Okay, like so. Okay. And I think another mistake people make is that they don't let their various steps absorb. Like, I can't go in right now with my moisturizer, even if it's 30 seconds. Just let what you've just done absorb into the skin and that's where you get pilling you know like when you get little whites I, I, sh I do get that a lot because I wear a lot of sunscreen but I get those little white um, things like almost like you know when you have a jumper that has a little pull on it yeah so I do get pilling but the key thing is to let every step absorb into your skin as much as you possibly can that is toner done I don't know why I'm obsessed with brushing my brows up. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but I just like to do that. Either in between while I'm waiting for things to dry or at the end. So I've let my enzyme toner soak into my skin a little bit and now we're going to moisturize. So oily skin people, don't be scared of moisturizer, but just make sure you get one that suits your skin. So I love, love, love um, Paula's Choice, the brand, full stop in general. But one of my favorite products right now is their Invisible Finish Moisture Gel with Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid. And it's like a super lightweight gel can you see the consistency? Don't look at my face camera. There we go. Okay, my camera is struggling a little bit, but it's like a gel consistency. So you don't have to go heavy, heavy, like, you know, those heavy white creams, especially if you have oily skin, but it's just good to moisturize your skin anyway. So it keeps it healthy. Yeah, I just take about a pea-sized amount and I rub it in very, can you see everything very gently and evenly and you don't forget the neck. As always, skincare is like therapy. That is my moisturizer done again. Sometimes I even give between moisturizer and sunscreen 10 minutes because that is where I get the most pilling and I don't want like my moisturizer to dilute my sunscreen even. So let's pretend I've waited 10 minutes and let's get into my favorite step and it's time for SPF. So I'm going to be showing you the two different SPFs I use. So I love, love, love the Elta MD SPF 46. And this is the SPF I use when I'm not gonna wear any makeup all day because I love this SPF. It has a little, little tint, but it doesn't let my makeup sit as well as like a more drying, not drying, but like matte finish SPF. So love this, but it does have an oily finish. So if you have oily skin, you need to be a little bit careful if you're gonna wear makeup on top of it. Like T-zone area, which is like here, gets way too oily with makeup with this, but it is an amazing SPF. If you're scared about breaking out of sunscreen, definitely can recommend this one. And then the one I wear with makeup, which is the one I'll wear today, is the Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50. So. 46 is even the lowest SPF I'll do. So all my other SPFs are always SPF 50, like this one. And I love how this one has a matte finish. Um, and, I, and I know us black girls, we have to be careful of a white cast. So in fact, if you guys are using um, any SPFs that really blend into your skin nicely and that SPF 50, please comment below. Let's help each other out. Um, but I found that this has a slightly, it's not a white cast, but you need to be really you have to really blend this in to make sure you don't leave any white um, residue but if you're wearing makeup on top anyway the makeup is going to cover that the foundation will cover that so let's put this on and guys spf there's no point using it if you're going to use like this like you need to use quite a bit of spf so i actually do use a lot and if i'm not wearing makeup i will reapply my spf as well so let's put this on Yep, can you see it is white? So that's where the blending is going to come in. Are you ready to see magic? And the neck, as always, you will thank yourself in 20 years when your neck looks 18. Okay. Can you see already it is sinking in and it really soaks into the skin. Don't be scared when you first put this on. Can you see it does have a matter finish than the Elta one but it still does have a little glow which is nice because I also don't like those 
SPFs for oily skin that just make you look like a dry pancake. Like nobody wants to look like that. We like our face, our skin to look like skin, you know? I don't want to be matted to the gods, even though I have oily skin. The moisturizer real good. Can you see my skin color is coming back? And bear in mind, I'm in front of like LED white lights. So in natural daylight, you wouldn't even be able to see the SPF at all. And there you go. That is the finished skin. And now I would put my makeup on. I would maybe wait again another 10 minutes because you want the SPF to absorb. And also you don't want it to blend too much. You don't want your foundation to be like rubbing off your SPF you just put on so nicely. So let it sit a little bit. And you might be wondering, okay, I'm about to put on foundation, what's the point of even wearing sunscreen? That makeup with SPF 15, it's, it's not going to give you that protection you need from the sun. Even when I'm home all day at a desk, even as long as I'm next to a window at some point, I will have my SPF on. I mean, it's better to be protected than not, so why not do it? Um, and yeah, the sun is one of the most damaging things to your skin. So please, if you don't already use it, wear, buy, use SPF as much as you can, sunscreen. And you want to know that if you are going out in the sun with makeup, there's some protection, or at least you've tried. Like, even if it's not doing anything, me, I tried my best, so now it's, got, it's in God's hands, end of the day. Like, I did what I could. So, now I will put my makeup on. This is the last step of my morning skincare routine. At some point, I might do my nighttime routine, but guys, it's the same products. The only thing I don't use is sunscreen, but it's still the CeraVe um, cleanser and moisturizer. I don't use the, the toner. It's two steps, cleanse and moisturize at night. Like, I used to use millions of products, mask, uh, there's, mm, uh, I don't even use serum, I used to use all those things and my skin wasn't where it is now. So I feel like there is a benefit of doing less and less can be more when it comes to skincare. I don't think you need a million products. Um, I get giftings all the time. I do try them out sometimes, but most of the time, you know, I give them to friends and family because I don't want to mess up what I have going on right now. It's the most simple skincare routine I've ever had, but the most effective. Now, I do think naturally our skin is not, is meant to like regulate itself. I don't think we're necessarily meant to use a million oils and blah, blah, blah. Um, but actually sometimes in my nighttime routine as well, I will use the M Skin Glow Forever Oil. I love that skin oil. Um, M Skin is an amazing Nigerian skincare and beauty brand. So please check them out. It's founded by my, my love, Marnike. So yeah, check out M Skin. If I do do a nighttime routine, that would be the only addition, the M Skin Glow Forever Oil, when my skin just needs like a little R&R. &R. Um, but that is the morning skincare routine. I'm gonna now let you guys know my top tips, like a quick fire top tips and general tips. Because again, these products might not work for you, but these are general things I've learned on my skincare journey. Okay, this is not really skincare, but I count my lips as part of my face, which is part of my skin, I guess. So in terms of lip products, I love, love, love this lip scrub, which is by Frank Body. And I usually scrub my lips like once or twice a week. Um, just to get your lips super soft. I did it um, yesterday, so it's still fresh. And then lip balm. Okay, once you try Lano lips, you never go back. This is the only lip balm that is acceptable to me anymore. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing lip balm, Lano lips. That's all I have to say. If you're in the UK, you can get it from Boots. If you're elsewhere, sorry, I don't know. Milano Lips, I have it on right now, is amazing. Because you know when some of the balms, they rub off, your lips are drier. Or your lips become drier because you're using a lip balm, which when it's not on, your lips become the Sahara Desert. So, Milano Lips is so good because I genuinely think it actually moisturizes your lips. Like, it, it absorbs in some kind of way, not just sits on top like other lip balms, if that makes sense. Anyway, love you Lano lips.
so good and next i didn't show this on camera because this technically goes into my nighttime routine but let's talk about removing makeup i used to be a makeup wipe girl simple makeup wipes were always on me at every time of the day and then i realized that makeup wipes are not the best for you because of all the pulling um and just the actual way it removes makeup is that you have you literally have to be rubbing it off your skin and any rubbing on your skin again not good so now, thanks to my dermatologist again, I use micellar water and cotton pads. And I soak up the cotton pads, fill it with micellar water, and as many as it takes me, it gets my makeup off. And also your face just feels really soothed after the micellar water. And also when you're taking, even if you didn't wear makeup, when you're taking off your SPF at night, even if you don't have makeup on top, use the micellar water because you want to have a double cleansing step for night which is micellar water and then the cleanser so at night time i mean i'm just giving you my nighttime routine here as well why not i will use this cotton pads and then this makeup or no makeup for eye makeup i don't use micellar water i use eye makeup remover but liquid again so i will take cotton pad dampen it and then very gently like you have to be so gentle with your lashes treat them like the baby little lashes that they are um, especially if you wear you know matte lashes that you pull off everything should just be gentle treat your face like the treasure it is it's an investment it is you know the essence of who you are so you want to treat it with love like you were touching someone else's face you wouldn't just rub it and hit it i don't know maybe you would but <laughs> just try and think about it in that way and then this is the final thing i'm not really doing a face mask at the minute maybe like once every two months i'll do a face mask so it's not very relevant to today i love this it's a roller and it's cold I got it from Jackie, who's been doing my facials since I was 12. And she used it in one of my facials. I do facials like once every one to three months, by the way. And if you're able to do so, I would find someone who's really good and understands your skin. I don't know, this is a type of thing where you don't know if it works, but it just feels nice because it's cold. So I put this in the fridge, it lives in my fridge. And I just sometimes roll in, like usually at night, not for my SPF. I just roll on my face. <laughs> I think it's good for um, circulation. If you're puffy, and you, you guys have seen my morning face in vlogs. I just go back to the Milan vlog when I woke up. My face, like my eyes are water, my face is puffy, my nose is like two times the width. Like, it takes a while for my face to settle into the day, let's say. So this is kind of nice sometimes. So general tips, mommy Timmy will always tell you, drink your water. Be mindful of your diet. I mean, it's really annoying when you have severe acne, which I used to have, and people are telling you to drink water and look at your diet. But for some people, that's what clears up their skin. It's never a bad thing. Look, always on me. It's never a bad thing to be hydrated. So even if your skin doesn't get better, at least some parts of your health is improving right same with diets um i'm all for eating anything and everything you guys know i'm vegetarian but i love my cheese my dairy my whatever but i am mindful if i eat something i haven't eaten before and i break out i might make a note of it so just be mindful know yourself really well know yourself love yourself i guess the moral of the skincare routine is less is more and do the research and find products that work for you not for jane amy and adequately like what works for you that's really the key thing hope you guys enjoyed my little skincare routine i think for skincare videos um, i can do a nighttime routine at some point it'll be a long time because it'll be too repetitive to this it's basically the same thing um, but i would love to do like a body skin like i'm really into looking after the skin on my body now so maybe we do a body skincare routine I let you know my body moisturizers, the soap I use, the scrub I use, that kind of thing. And comment below. <laughs> Gosh, am I becoming a professional YouTuber or what? Okay, comment below what you want me to do next. I love you guys. Sending you so much love. And I hope you finally enjoyed this long-awaited skincare routine. Let me know your tips as well. Comment below what you guys do for your skin and things that have helped you let's all help each other in this little mini world we have here on youtube and if you have not yet subscribed what are you even doing 
hit the subscribe button right now. I will see you guys in the next video. Sending you health, wealth, prosperity, love, and everything else you want from life. Okay, bye guys. See ya.